Thumbs up. Thank you very much, Amanda. I'm very excited to be here because I'm very pleased with your leadership uh, that you have shown in, in this particular area because it's your generations that's going to have to live by some of the decisions that we make today. So I'm very pleased to say, see you're playing a very active role uh, in this program and, and other students who are here. And actually, this is my second uh, Step It Up uh, uh, event uh, today, so and I'm just excited to see the younger generation get involved in, in politics and trying to make a big difference uh, in the world we live in today. As I've said uh, to many folks, that we can have the most powerful military in the world, but we cannot beat Mother Nature. The only way we're going to be able to deal with that is if we work collectively. It cannot be the military. We have to work as individuals, and that's very important. I'm very glad to see, uh, Madam President, that the university is uh, taking a, uh, a leadership role uh, with this green building that we have here uh, today as well. And I think we've got to continue to make sure that each and every one of us do our little small part uh, in making sure we do have a green uh, environment. And collectively, uh, we can do that. And I'm glad to see all the sponsors who are here uh, today. I had a chance to talk to a lot of you uh, this morning. Uh, Amanda introduced me to you, and uh, I think it's, it's going to make a big difference in everyone's lives. And, and yes, actually, next week, uh, the entire Maine delegation is very supportive of the water resources uh, bill that we passed in Congress that will help uh, the environment. Unfortunately, uh, the President vetoed it. Uh, we will be dealing with a veto in the House on Tuesday. There is uh, uh, enough votes, I believe, to override the veto in both the House and the Senate so we can move forward with a, a first major water re a resources funding bill and a number of years authorization bill, rather. Uh, but there are other issues that's very important. Uh, and, with, and a lot of people ask me about what we're going to do with global warming, uh, the Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act. We can pass laws in Congress and they are laws. However, the issue that really concerns me that affects the environment, not only here in the United States, but worldwide, and that's our bad trade policies uh, that we've been dealing with uh, over a number of years. And there are four more trade deals that we have to deal with. So if we pass laws at the federal level or at the state level, if it's in violation of our trade deals, then it goes to a tribunal who make that final decision. And that's what concerns me the most when we look at what's happening with our environment, what's happening uh, with our economy, our workforce is uh, having a third party tribunal decide what's good for us as citizens here in Maine and all across this country. So we have a lot more work to do, but I'm very optimistic with the future that we have with bright uh, young students uh, as Amanda, uh, and want to wish you the very best, Amanda, and, the, and hopefully uh, that you will continue to stay active uh, in this area. I understand you're only 15 years old, so you can't run for Congress quite yet, so I'm safe for a few more years. So, uh, but, but I do know that you definitely have a, a future ahead of you, and want to thank you for uh, stepping up to the plate to really make a difference uh, uh, not only for, for your generation, but for future generations as well. So once again, congratulations uh, to you and everyone here today. Thank you. Now do we? Now do we get on? Um,